Just about two years ago, we ended up buying land in Trout Lake, Washington. We ended up putting our condo on the market and it sold within 24 hours. Well, one of the things we really wanted in our cabin was for it to be simple, minimalist, which is one of my wife and I's, I would say, core values. My name is Luke. My name is Liana. This is Claire. Come take a tour of Summit View Cabin. One day I was just scrolling on Etsy and came across a beautiful kind of out of the box cabin plan from a company called Hear About Home and we really enjoyed it. You can look up into the second floor loft here. We have really high vaulted ceilings that go almost 30 feet. Probably my favorite piece in this living room is this really awesome, more so wood stove. I think it's unique, it fits the space really well, and it also does an amazing job of heating the entire house. Another aspect of this living room is this floor to ceiling bookshelf that was included in the plans that we bought. Uh, we think it's really unique and then it's just an extra storage spot as well. Currently we have a lot of children's books in there. We don't have a TV in this space, but just kind of hang out together as a family. Yeah, that's the living room. Uh, let's move on to the kitchen. On our way to the kitchen, we have this little portable island that we actually got from Ikea. We have a beautiful view of the mountain from this location. It serves our needs very nicely. And then it also has storage here. And then we added a floor outlet just to keep our options open. Well, one of the things we really wanted in our cabin was for it to be simple, minimalist, which is one of my wife and I's, I would say, core values. Starting off here at the sink, very simple, very minimalist faucet here, black faucet, black sink, which we think pairs really well with the light pine um, ceilings and also the polished concrete floor. You might not immediately notice a big fridge in, in this space. The fridge is embedded into the cabinets right here. You wouldn't be able to tell it's a fridge. We are very pleased with it so far. It satisfies all our needs. Um, and we do have a freezer component uh, in the utility room as well, which is um, very important. We opted for an induction stove. I must say induction is the way to go. It heats water faster than anything else out there. Above the range microwave was a lot more practical for our purposes. Uh, and then we have our Breville uh, espresso maker, which is probably one of the top three best purchases I've made in my life. These shelves actually came from a tree that we had to cut down on our property. About as local as it gets. Regular cabinetry up here I think would bulk up the space too much and just kind of throw off the whole vibe of the, of the cabin. As far as other storage, we have a standard situation under the sink, several nice big drawers. We love everything so far and we hope you also enjoy it. Five years back, I met Luke and we moved into a condo downtown Tacoma and we lived there for about what would you say, three, four years? Just about two years ago, we ended up buying land in Trout Lake, Washington. 
When we found out about the land that was on the market, um, I was a little bit nervous just because I was growing up in the city and really enjoyed the city. Although the idea of living in a small town didn't really bother me and also Luke does have family here nearby so I knew we wouldn't be alone. I already knew Trout Lake Washington had a phenomenal community so it really didn't bother me making the move um, and we ended up putting our condo on the market and it sold within 24 hours and I think yeah. because of that we were so fortunate and we were able to buy our land and it was go from there. Welcome to the upstairs of our cabin. We're here in kind of the walk through closet. Both my wife and I are pretty minimal. We both work remotely, so we don't have a ton of clothes. A awesome custom ladder, shout out to Ronald of Hainline Construction, goes up to a secondary kind of sleeper loft. And then the bathroom is right through this pocket door. It's small, but is mighty and it's, uh, does it does the job. We have tile from floor to ceiling. This bathroom definitely upholds our values of minimalism. We have a custom pine table here uh, that also came from wood on our property, a vessel sink, and then the faucets that just come right out of the wall, which is how we like it. And then a towel rack on this wall and then the toilet over there. So it's a small bathroom, but it certainly does the trick. We are on a septic system here. There are no, there's not a town sewer line. One thing that we did is made it bigger than required. And that allows us to build another house on this same property if we want and then hook it up to the septic system. So that was a little bit of an extra cost. However, it, it certainly keeps our options open. This is our beautiful desk nook area. We have a custom pine slab, um, which is emerging as a theme um, in this cabin. I have a unique remote pharmacist job, uh, which is part of the reason why we're able to move back to this small town. And my wife is a, she recruits uh, physicians and doctors for a uh, health system in the Pacific Northwest. My mom let us know about um, this unimproved land that um, our current neighbor actually had available and was going to sell, offered it to us for $200,000 for two acres off market, which believe it or not, um, in this town is um, a, back very then, good is a pretty good deal. Yeah. The seller offered seller financing at a very, very great interest rate. At the time, we were still living in our condo in Tacoma. Actually, I think it was you who said, fine, let's just sell let's the condo. condo on the market. <laughs> and and we'll see what happens. After 24 hours. We were able to use that money to pay off uh, the neighbor completely, pay for the land, and then also use a little bit extra to uh, pay kind of a down payment on the construction build. Yeah. The entire build, um, including excavation, septic, uh, water hookup, um, electric hookup, everything was somewhere around 350000 which does sound expensive, but that is, you know, a competitive offer in this area. All right, welcome to our awesome bedroom. One of the best features of this entire cabin is these huge windows. We see beautiful Mount Adams, which almost looks like it's literally right in our backyard. 
We love how large of a bedroom it is. We do have a king size bed and then kind of a multi-purpose dresser here, which uh, serves for some additional clothing and then also our baby changing table and additional baby related supplies. At nighttime, this uh, blind rolls down. It's a blackout blind and we have a projector on this floating shelf and we can just turn it on and pop on our favorite streaming service. Overall, we love how this turned out. It's very minimal, but it's very functional. It certainly gets the job done and we really love it. So if you're worried about, you know, making the jump, um, be open, be super flexible. Life is short and you never know what you're going to love. So mm -hmm. I highly recommend just being very, very flexible with yourself and with your family. Also, if you have an idea and if you have a plan and you want to do something, um, but everything looks intimidating because you know, you've never found house plans before, or you've never hired a builder before, or you don't know how to buy land, or even whether you can build on land or not. Um, there are a lot of resources out there, um, and just plow through it and make it happen if it's something you want to happen. Yeah. And I think that's one of the things I'm most proud of in all of this as well. Yeah, definitely an accomplishment building this place. If you want to check out more photos of our build, go to at Summit View Cabin on Instagram. You can also feel free to message us, ask us any other questions you may have. We'd be happy to do our best to answer those. But thank you for watching. Yeah, thanks for visiting. <laughs>